Hi everyone, welcome back to our session. Now in this session I am going to discuss about refraction of light and how does the refraction takes place when the light travelling from one medium to another medium. In earlier session we have discussed about this and we have discussed the definition of refraction of light and in this session we are going to be discuss detailed information about the refraction of light. So let's get started our session. So here we can observe that refraction means we consider the two mediums when the light is traveling from one medium to another medium then light changes its velocity or speed yes we can say that speed or velocity uh, the light will be changed and when it is traveling from one medium to another medium and uh, due to the density changes of the mediums speed will be changed and uh, light gets bending so this process is nothing but called as refraction of light. Yes, suppose let me take one example of it. So here, uh, we'll, uh, let me take one light ray. It is traveling from air to water. Yes, so this light ray is traveling from air to water. And uh, this light ray is nothing but called as incident light ray. And after uh, incident on the particular point of the denser another medium, then we have to take a one perpendicular line that is normal where the light has incident at that point we can draw one perpendicular line that line we can consider as normal yes and when the light is traveling from a to water then light changes its path actually light has to travel in this direction in this path but light changes its speed and otherwise velocity and light does not travel in this direction light travels by bending so what is the reason of it there are two reasons we can explain uh, light changes its speed or velocity when it is traveling from one medium to another medium that is one uh, reason and one more medium so due to the density changes so air density is different and water density is different so changes in densities of the medium so light uh, behaves in different manner so nothing but that's why light is light is bending when it is traveling from one medium to another medium so that that is we are observing uh, in these situations yes so here the light is traveling from air to water so air is considered as rarer medium yes air is considered as rarer medium in air density air density is less so we can say less density air is less density medium and water is more density more density medium water is more density medium and air is less density medium yes and uh, medium is changing and due to changing of uh, speed of the light light gets bending light changing its path deviating from its path light is deviating from its path so means light has to travel in this direction but due to changing of its speed and densities so it is bending towards the normal so this is a normal perpendicular line is called as normal so light is not traveling in this direction instead of traveling in this direction light is bending towards the normal so we will observe uh, this uh, characteristic of the light in this situation yes so let me see that angle of incident and angle of refraction what is the uh, angle of incident and what is the angle of refraction so look at here when the incident line nothing but incident ray which uh, incident ray is making the angle with the normal that angle is called as angle of incident that angle is called as angle of incidence and refracted this is a refracted ray yes so this refracted ray make the angle with the normal that angle is called as refracted ray so sorry angle of refraction yes which a refracted ray making angle with the normal that angle is called as 
angle of refraction. So here let, uh, we can observe that angle of incidence is not equal to angle of refraction. So uh, we will observe the difference uh, and we will observe the look at here angle I not equal to angle R. So angle of incidence is greater than angle of refraction. Angle of incidence is greater than angle of refraction. Next, so here, uh, what is that deviation? How much deviation has been taken place here? Yes, so the light has not traveled, light ray has not traveled in this direction. It has deviated from its path and uh, bent towards the normal. So here, what is the deviation? This is the, here to I mean, sir, actual uh, path and uh, what is the refracted path? That angle, what is the angle is in between the actual path and the refracted light ray, that angle is called angle of deviation. So angle of deviation we represent with D and angle D is equal to angle of deviation. So here, what is the angle of deviation? So we can take the angle of deviation, angle I minus angle R is take as, taking as angle of deviation. So we will observe that. Here uh, by observing this picture, we can say that angle of incidence is greater than angle of refraction. Then uh, what is the angle of deviation? So uh, actual path of the light ray and uh, what is the refracted light ray? So angle between the actual path of the light ray and refracted ray. So that angle is called as angle of deviation. So this much deviation has taken place in between the actual path and refracted ray. So angle D is called angle I minus angle R means angle of incident minus angle of refraction. So these things we will observe by the first condition. So let's talk about second condition. Here when the light is traveling from water to air means nothing but we are water we are considering as denser medium and air is considering as rarer medium. So when the light is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium then light is deviating from its path actually this is the direction of light ray in this direction light has to travel light ray has to travel but light ray is deviating from its path and light ray is traveling away from the normal so light ray is traveling away from the normal so we can observe the angle of deviation yes so this is the angle of deviation and this is the angle of refraction and this is the angle of incident so now in this situation what is the angle of incidence is it greater than or less than than the refraction angle of refraction so look at here here angle of incidence is what is that angle of incidence is less than angle of refraction in this situation angle of refraction is more than the angle of incidence so what is the angle of deviation so angle of deviation is equal to angle of refraction minus angle of incidence so how much deviation has been taken place the light ray how much deviated yes so we will take as angle d equal to angle r minus angle i means angle of refraction minus angle of incidence so this is the sec second condition we will observe uh, of the light ray yes next uh, third condition so here when the light ray traveled from one medium to another medium uh, along the normal so when the light travel from one medium to another medium along the normal then what do we observe yes we will not observe any deviation of the light ray yes there is no deviation will takes place of the light ray so here angle of incidence we cannot say that angle of incidence equal to angle of refraction and what about the angle of deviation angle of deviation equal zero both are equal so uh, means angle of incidence is angle of refraction so when we both are equal 
so 2 minus 2 equal to 0 so x minus x equal to 0 so like that angle of deviation will be 0 so these three conditions we will observe uh, when the light is traveling from one medium to another medium so this is the uh, examination oriented uh, uh, problems they may ask on the angle of incident angle of refraction um, and uh, what is the angle of deviation has been taken place then we can calculate by uh, by the uh, formulas like this and uh, angle of incidence uh, is greater than angle of refraction when the light is traveling from rarer, rarer medium to denser medium and angle of deviation equal to uh, angle of incident minus angle of refraction in the first case means when the light is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium second case when the light traveling from denser medium to rarer medium then angle of incident is less than angle of refraction so what is the angle of deviation in this case so angle of deviation equal to angle of refraction minus angle of incidence because uh, which is greater from that we will be subtract the lesser one so angle of refraction minus angle of incidence in the third situation third condition when the light travel along the normal then there is no deviation we will observe of the light so then angle of incident equal to angle of refraction and angle of deviation equal to zero so hope you students understand this session and about the refraction of light angle of incident angle of refraction and angle of deviation when light is traveling from one medium to another medium so let me discuss detail about this uh, loss of refraction in another session so thank you so hope you understand this session so thank you